wonderful happens to one of our family members. We just share in the joy. And today, Sophie Uliano is giving us a sneak peek of her new book. Yay. It's called Gorgeous Sophie. for Good. And Yay. congratulations, Sophie. This is oh, I so love that. fantastic. Photo, yes. photo of you. That looks yes. fantastic. Yes, lovely, lovely, lovely. We, I'm, I'm so happy. We're going to be taking two of our family members, yeah. Paige and Kim, yeah. and we're going to put them through right everything that you have there in the book. Yes. Uh, before we do that, though, we've all, you know, I've come to know you as this health guru, this so holistic individual who's actually shined a light on many things that I've been doing wrong. <laughs> but where did it start for you? And I understand this is a very personal journey. It is. You know, um, Mark, about 15 years ago, I was doing a movie in Canada. I was an actress, and um, I, two weeks into the shooting, I was, had a terrible accident. What happened? And my, my face got very badly burned, horrifically burned. Oh. Like in a stunt or something? Um, no. Or like it, a... it, what happened was, in my hotel room at night, I was blowing out a candle underneath aromatherapy oils that were very volatile. And when I gave a giant puff to blow it out, it exploded into oh. a fireball in my face. Good Lord. And I got second and third degree burns, and my eyelashes, my hair, everything burnt off. So the production stopped, and nobody knew what to do. And the hospitals and the doctors said, you need to fly to Los Angeles immediately to a burn center. To, you'll have to have skin grafts and, and plastic surgery and whatnot. And I um, had a moment of clarity when I was leaving the hospital, and I thought, no. I'm not going to Los Angeles. It, the, weather, the air is beautiful up here, and I'm going to try and do this my way, a different way. So what I decided to do was I had this moment of renewing my faith in God, uh -huh. and I decided that every day I was going to meditate for two hours, I was going to switch to a diet of completely organic, non-toxic food, and I was going to uh, research and find the best non-toxic wound healing skincare that I could find. So in three weeks, I was back on set, and I have some pictures to show you of just before oh, I went. So this is just oh, before. You. This oh is healed. God. This is three weeks later, where it's it's healed. This is me saying to the producers, "Look, I can go back on set now." Um, Looking like that. Like that. Yes, you should have seen oh, what it was Sophie, like before. Bless your heart. So, um, oh my God. so that's enough of those horrid pictures. <laughs> but, um, but well, thank you for but, sharing that. I know yes, that's not easy thank for you to look Thank you. But um, the fact is, uh, Mark and Christina, that what this did was that it, it started me on this path, and I've been living this way for the for, for ever since. Mm -hmm. Very clean, very organic, very healthy, and. 15 right now my skin is better my energy is better I'm in better shape than I was 15 to 20 years ago well your book I understand has a lot of the secrets if you will the things that led you down that path or you you utilize that and that's where, where we're gonna come to page and what's your name again oh, and yeah. Kim that you guys are adopting this what the stuff is in this book that yeah. she's been living yeah. first of all tell us your story why do you want to do this I personally want to do this because you guys all know that I had gallbladder surgery and mm -hmm. part of that is genetic. Part of that is you've been eating the wrong foods. It, your gallbladder controls when you eat fatty foods, greasy, fried. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to blame it on my job, but you know, for 10 years I was on the road with Extreme and you had craft service and that's all really I had access to. Sure. And that is my excuse. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't know my excuses since then because I've been home now for two years. <laughs> Um, but I just, I'm sick of not feeling healthy. And I have an entire wardrobe at home, and I've been trying to hide it from everyone, but I've gained weight. And, you know, I hit 40, I, like my metabolism changed, and I walk into my closet and I look around, and I'm so frustrated, I cannot fit into a pair of jeans. If you guys look back over tape over the last two months, you will see me in leggings, like, it's all that fits. Sure. And it's, so your I don't want to go out and buy new jeans. Mm. I don't want to fix it. Yeah. That's okay. Fix it. And Kim. And Kim. So we were talking in the green room, and um, you know what my issue is, you guys, is that for a, many, many, many years, like since I was 12, you know my story about wanting to do what I'm doing today, I prayed and made deals with the Lord that this is what I wanted for my life. And it's so interesting, be careful what you pray for, because now I feel like I've gotten everything that I really prayed for, a great job, mm -hmm. great colleagues, mm -hmm. a wonderful family, you know, all, all these things, and I'm so thankful and so grateful for them. But you know what I feel, and I know we've shared a little bit of this, sometimes you just don't feel like you've got the energy, mm -hmm. or you're running around to Ellen and here, and I need the extra sleep, but I've gotta be there for Hunter. And, and so you have all these balls up, and half the time I'm just grabbing a Diet Coke, or let me just get an extra chocolate just to keep my energy up so I can drive 
drive an hour All back right. home. So it seems like a weight loss and energy thing. So the book is a diet. It's a, a, You know, a, Mark, it is not a diet. I call it a live it. It is actually because it's you're living. It's it's your whole lifestyle. It's a 30 sure. day skin to soul program. Right. So it incorporates every single area of your life, not just food. And the intention is that it sets you on the right path for the rest of your life. Well, when you go on this journey, it doesn't happen right away. It takes a week or mm -hmm. 10 days, two oh, weeks, yes. and then I'm sure there'll be a point where they're gonna say, you know, I can't go do this, this is ridiculous. Yes. So how do you get past that? Yeah. Well, you know, Christine, you're absolutely right. Because what I'm asking, just the very broad guidelines, are uh, there's going to be a diet which is going to be free of, of meat, of dairy, of sugar, of alcohol, okay? Diet. And so, so it's a very clean oh, diet. We're going to be exercising for 40 minutes a day, six days a week, and you're going to be learning a little meditation practice. And you're right, Christina, all this doesn't just a week later, you're, this feels wonderful. There can be mm -hmm. hiccups. The first week when you're detoxing, you can actually so start bad. plummeting and feeling really not good for a little while mm -hmm. before you're That's gonna feel I'm amazing. Yeah. I mean, sure. you talk about sugar. I don't drink alcohol, so I'm like, I'm, I'm yeah. good there. But getting sugar out right. of my system, I've tried it before and I turn evil. Yeah. Yes. Like I just, I'm in a bad mood and I don't want that to happen, so I'm a little scared. And I and know. about me about caffeine. I know. Have you ever <laughs> seen me without coffee? I know. Oh, <laughs> you don't want to. And diet soda. And diet soda. I'm so you know, upset with all yes. the, how much you I know. consume. I know. Not. And they're so scared of this. And I've, we've been in the green room and they're sharing their fears. And what's yeah. so exciting for me is that this is not a weight loss diet where I'm going to say to you, you've got to eat carrot sticks and, and celery sticks. Yeah. No, you're going to get the goodies. You're going to get the beautiful sweets. You're going to get everything to make you feel great, but in a way that's super, super healthy. Okay. Can we start with oh, this? And yeah. By what? the way, by the <laughs> way, I actually made because <laughs> Paige um, has a scone every single morning to go with her coffee, and she said I can't have scones anymore. And I said that is not true. I have a recipe for a gluten-free, dairy-free, and sugar-free scone. So we're going to try these. And also, girls, so I have got so together a big gift basket what? of goodies of tools that are going to help you with your 30 day program oh, so this is you can have a look at them right there <gasps> we there's are, skin oh, care we there's a blend tech blender and there is a jaw bone fitness tracker that's going to help to make sure you do your oh exercise God. every day it's going to be so bad after all yes <laughs> i'll remind you when you're 20 minutes into that 40 minute workout every day that this isn't so bad